हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड वेलकम बैक टू टेक एंड टॉक सो नो लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव यूज्ड एक्सिमल सिरिलाइजेशन एज अ सिरिलाइजर टू सिरिलाइज ओवर ओवर ऑब्जेक्ट इनटू एक्सिमल फॉर्मेट राइट सो एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू यूज जेसन सिरिलाइजर टू सिरिलाइज ओवर ऑब्जेक्ट इनटू जेसन फॉर्मेट एंड देन वी विल स्टोर दैट string json string into a file and later on we will convert that serialized json string into object again right uh to isme aage badhne se pehle let me make a class and move those uh <coughs> move that xml serialization implementation into that to make sure we are not overriding it right <coughs> इसी फोल्डर में मैंने एक क्लास बना दी इसको हम कह देते हैं सीरियलाइजर ओके सिरलाइजेशन राइट सिरलाइजेशन राइट एंड हेयर लेट्स से लेटस क्रिएट अ स्टैटिक मेथड and uh, let's name it xml serializer right and let me paste all that code here so sure like that and let me add some references and now i think we are good to go and let me add another <coughs> method for the json serializer right and let's say that we are creating an object user model let's say id is equal to 2 and name is equal to small graphic right <clears throat> and the next thing will be to line to lies over object right and that will come from json serialization not really that should be json serializer dot serialize and we need to add system dot text dot json reference and here we can pass over user object and that will be serialized into json string and next thing we will going to <coughs> write that string into a file let's say it's a user info dot json and we are passing that serialized string into that <clears throat> so that that part is for the serialization we are serialization we are serializing and saving that serialized string into a file next thing is we are going to deserialize it for that one let's say uh we are first need to read the content of the file right into a string and in the next step we will convert that content to the object right for that one let's say we have read string equal to file dot uh, i think that should be read all text and we are going to add info dot json and uh, in the next step we will convert that to 
var user of object and we will going to deserialize it with json serializer dot deserialize and we will give it type of user model and we will pass that string coming from file into that method right and at that step it will be deserialized right let me add a debug point here at the end of the method and let's call that method from here serialization s is equal to new not really i think these are these should be the static methods right let me make them static and static here so that we can call them without creating the instances right dot json serialization right like this one and let me run the project right so we are at the end of the method it means that our object has been created serialized and saved and it has been converted back to object from that json file and you can see that we have id2 and name is usman rafiq to double check let's jump into that folder and see the contents of that file yeah we, you can see that id is true and the name is a small pic so this is how we can serialize and deserialize objects in json format so that was it for today's video i will push that code right after this video and stay tuned for upcoming videos till then bye bye